<laughs> Welcome back. We're talking about strength today, so I thought I'd show you my muscles. We're not talking about that kind of strength. We're talking about the strength that God gives you. Have you ever been in a situation where you're like, I just, I can't do this. I'm just, I'm not going to be able to do it. And then you pray about it and all of a sudden you can do it. That happened to me before. It's happened to me lots of times. One time when I was young, my grandpa had a seizure and we were actually fixing a roof. And I was so scared when he had the seizure because you fall down and you shake that he was going to fall off the roof. And I prayed out loud, God, please give me the strength to hold on to him. And he did. So I'm going to tell you a story today about strength. And I'm not necessarily talking about muscles, although I'm sure you have muscles. You can show me your muscles. I'm talking about the strength that comes from trusting in God. We already know that God's with us always, so we trust him. And we know he gives us what, he need, what we need, so we trust him. But we also need to remember that he gives us strength. See, the Israelites were wandering around, and they were heading for the promised land. Remember, it's flowing with milk and honey. Okay, They're on their way, and there's some people that were like, you're not getting to the promised land. And they were called the Amalekites. They were not nice people. They were very rude, and they were kind of bullies. And they decided that, mm -mm, Israelites are not going to Canaan, and so they attacked. Well, the Israelites, again, were like, <sighs> but that's okay, because they've got God on their side. So Moses sent some people to go fight the Amal Amalekites. In fact, he sent a guy named Joshua. And I bet if you ask your mom or dad really nicely, they'll help you figure out who Joshua is, because Joshua's kind of important. Okay, he plays a really cool role later on. We're not going to talk about it today, but you need to go figure out what Joshua did. So Moses sent Joshua to go fight the Amalekites. And cool side note, Joshua's dad's name was Nun. And he was Moses' uh, uh, assistant. So Moses had a helper named Nun. So they're like, who's helping you, Moses? He's like, Nun. <laughs> Good joke. So Moses sends Joshua to fight the Amalekites. And they don't go by themselves. They go with God and they have God's strength. And so they start fighting and you know what happens. They start fighting and they're not really winning, but that's because God isn't in the picture yet. So God tells Moses, raise your staff up, raise it high, just like he told him to do over the Red Sea. And he raised his staff up. And when he did, they started winning. How many of you have ever gone to big church? and you're singing and you're like totally into it. And then Mr. Danny does like four extra verses. And you're like, man, my arm is tired. That is what happened with Moses. His arm got tired and his arm got tired, but he couldn't let his staff go down. So he had Aaron and her standing behind him next to him. And they held him sit on a rock and they held his arm up and they held his arm up the entire time until the Israelites defeated the Amalekites. They didn't do it on their own. When I was on that roof, my grandpa is 6'4". He's huge. And I was a little kid. I didn't do it on my own. I had God give me his strength. You're going to face moments in life and things are going to happen and you're going to be like, I can't do this. Like right now, you know, you don't know if you're going to school. You don't know if you're homeschooling. You may not have seen your friends for a while. You may not have seen your grandparents for a while. And you're like, I just can't do this anymore. But you can because God gives you the strength if you trust in him. He's with you, he provides for you, and he gives you strength. And with God's strength, you can do anything. God created the universe. God created each and everything we see around us. His strength is like way stronger than your dad's or your grandpa's or Hulk Hogan. If you know who that is, you may not know who that is. I am getting old. Uh, who's a young person? Oh, Aquaman or Superman, he's stronger than all of them put together. God's strength can get you through anything. Even right now, when we don't know what's coming up, we don't know what we're gonna be doing. We don't know if we're going back to school, but that's okay because God's with you, God provides for you, and God gives you strength. Let me see your muscles. Ugh, say it with me. God gives us strength, so we trust God. 